Well, welcome to Grand Turk, and uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm getting rained on right now. <laughs> this is the port I'm looking forward to the most, and the rain called for a 25% chance. It did say it was going to be partly cloudy, but I'm hoping that the rain stops here. And you can even see, despite it being cloudy and everything, that blue water that Grand Turk is known for. And uh, if the sun ever comes out, it's going to be a bright blue. That's what we're hoping for. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little crappy to start off the day, but it's early yet. We're still in port here for about seven hours. So hopefully this rain goes away and we can start enjoying that beach we're behind me. All right now, I'm going to go enjoy some coffee. All right, so we are here in Grand Turk. Sunita behind me, and you can see the clouds are still dark, but it really does seem like it's trying to lighten up. And uh, despite the dark clouds, you can still see that crystal clear blue water, at least when you're up close to it, or from afar if you're above. So. Um, yeah, we're going to go enjoy the beach. It is warm. It's nice and warm, so despite the clouds being a little dark, it shouldn't change the, uh, the great feel of the ocean water. So we go enjoy today. We've been looking forward to Grand Turk. It's the favorite port on the itinerary for, for me at least. I think it as well. So um, let's go do it. Walking on the beach here in Grand Turk, you see that dark brown strip there to my left. That is this brown seaweed that is becoming more and more of a problem throughout the Caribbean. Uh, I've never seen it in Grand Turk before, and fortunately, it has made its way here. We are walking all the way to the end of the beach because it looks like they did a good job of cleaning it up on this far end. Um, as you see, a bit of a walk to get down here but we want to get away from the brown seaweed and it looks like down here they've cleaned it up pretty well or it's not uh it's avoided hitting this area of the beach so that's where we're headed get my hair wet. with the carnival magic behind her Enjoying Grand Turk, first dip of the day. So that first dip's always a little chilly, but the water is fabulous. The sun has come out a little bit. It's still cloudy, so the water is not as sparkling blue as it normally is. <laughs> but see you later. Being your ten-year-old self, so we're enjoying the ocean out here. But uh, yeah, one thing I will tell you: some tips see all these umbrellas behind us and then Jack Sean is behind us just down the beach there just a little bit. Now we walked a relatively long way to get down here. Um, not a long way. I mean it's a walk along the beach. It's not that bad. You're walking through the sand. But as we walked at the beginning there's guys selling you know two chairs and an umbrella for $40. I'm like okay that's fine. And you know, we just kept walking. We're the only ship in the port, so it's a it's a buyer's market. It really is. And there were plenty of open chairs, so we just kept walking. And we wanted to get down past the brown seaweed anyway. So um, we did, and we got a couple chairs and umbrella for twenty dollars, and a bucket of beer, five beers, local beers for twenty dollars. So we basically got a free bucket of beer walking a little further down the beach. So price shop, because there's a number of vendors out here selling umbrellas and chairs and things like that. So, um, and then you get this beautiful view of the ship parked right behind you. And that's it for now. All right, Anita made the run to Jack Shack. So we got some fried conch and the french fries here. And then we got a famous jerk chicken and rice. We're about to throw down on some Jack Shack food here while we're in the beautiful port of Grand Turk. Look at that beautiful water. See the carnival magic off in the distance. And the sun.
sun has finally come out. Look at that gleaming blue water there. Look at that, got the Carnival Magic behind me. We got a Italian beer, doing a little of Italy and Grand Turk. Anita's doing a little Jamaica with the red stripe. But this is our final port. It's our final port of the summer. So we're taking full advantage. Now it is approximately 2.30. We can obviously see the ship from where we're at. The back on board is 3.30, so we know it'll take us about 10 minutes to stroll back from the beach. So we're gonna push it. We're not gonna quite be pure runners, but um, we're, we're gonna maximize every minute of our, our last port day of the summer of 2023, as far as cruising goes. And then for me at least, I'm gonna be back on the ship again until Thanksgiving. Um, and that'll be on the Carnival Celebration. So I'll already be looking forward to that. I needed to swallow a bunch of seawater being silly. <laughs> now she's over there choking on it. So having a beer to wash it down. So and we had some nice ladies. We just met uh Jeannie and Leanne from Virginia Beach. Our bucket had run out of ice and it was just water and we had warm beers and they brought a little cooler of ice from the ship and they were going back and they said here you want our ice? We're like yeah so now our beers are ice cold. Thank you for that. Great way to end the day in Grand Turk. And one more look at the carnival magic and the crystal clear blue waters of Grand Turk. Cheers, everybody. You see people walk into the ship there. And we will be soon, too. But again, with the ship being right in front of us, we're going to treasure every last minute. And how could you not in this beautiful water, Grand Turk? It's not even 310 yet, but Anita is starting to pack up. So I imagine we're gonna have to get rolling here pretty soon. I'm filming her, filming me. See down the beach. We are the last two people from the Carnival Magic. The only ship in port today. May be able to see the lines there for people getting back on the ships. So, why rush back to get to the end of a long line? It's only gonna take us 10 minutes to walk down the beach. The way I look at it, I got 10 more minutes and I'm gonna take them. Hi, right, everybody. Well, this is the end of our ports. Very beautiful Grand Turk. I'm trying to walk along the beach here. Sorry for shaking the camera a little bit. But, uh, just uh, absolutely beautiful day. It ended up being a beautiful day. Of course, it started out a little bit rainy and overcast. But you look at that crystal clear blue water behind us and our carnival magic, our ride home. We got two more sea days after this, but for all intents and purposes, last time we touched land until we get back to Norfolk. And uh, it's back to work on Monday until Thanksgiving. So enjoyed every last minute of this and uh, back to the ship. Here we go to the Carnival Magic. All right, so we're gonna give you a quick tour of Margaritaville. This is the pool, obviously. And over here you have the Flow Rider, and that'll be going, and that's where you do like the little surfboard with the uh, powered waves coming at you. All right, so you see they have plenty of lounges around here. Nice big pool usually have it going on in here you know they'll have some live music there's the swim up bar walking across the little bridge right now and uh, the drinks are a little pricey but people definitely enjoy themselves here and so here's the other side of the pool and we will take you across the second bridge Swim up bar from a different vantage point.
the interior. And there we are. Headed back to the ship. Oh, YouTubers, check me. This is Cookie, your cruise retro on the Carnival Horizon down in Miami, Florida. Trust me, number one, you want to follow this man's channel, Coach Cruise, because he's the absolute best coach out here, not about fitness, but about cruising. Trust <laughs> me, he's going to make sure you have the best time ever because he knows the ins and outs of every cruise that you go on. So click that like, follow button, and share more about this brother right here. Not only is he my coach, but he's my cousin. We'll see you all <laughs> on the next cruise. Until then, we're out of here. All Peace. Right. All right, everybody. Well, it's turned out to be a beautiful evening. We still have the clouds, but uh, we still also have that beautiful wake behind us. And um, the sun is trying to set, and it looks like it could be another pretty one. We'll have to check it out in a few minutes and see if we can't give you some more pictures of another beautiful sunset. But today was an absolute great day to finish our three ports. We started off in San Juan and then went to Amber Cove. Both ports were rainy. This one started out the same way, but it finished great. The sun came out, the water got blue, uh, just felt great in the water. Had a few. Uh, had a couple buckets of beer and uh, just enjoyed our time on the beach today. So um, took a little nap here and uh, gonna get ready to go out and grab a drink or two and then some dinner. And we'll see what we can get into after that. All right, here we go. Anita's favorite night in the MDR. Is it lobster night? No, it's escargot night. She gets two orders, sometimes three. She loves the escargot. Oh, great. Thank you. And I got some too. Let's see. What'd you get? Oh, a ceviche. What'd you get? Ceviche. You do such an awesome job. Oh, sure. Um, and secondly, and this one is huge like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that notification bell so you know when this man is posting more videos. <laughs> I appreciate that you so much. You're welcome. Thank man. you, Lee. I just can't get away from a good time.